It was a really joyous day. It was. Um, I remember my, my best man said I was so relaxed and calm, and I think that was because I just, I just knew it was right. Judaism in general is centered around family values. So not long after we got married, we started trying to get pregnant and it was fun and exciting. But as the months ticked on, we started to realize that something wasn't right. Saul tends to be the one that has bigger feelings about it. Um, and that can get very complicated because um, I really have a need to remain hopeful um, and to have trust in God's plan. Today I got my period, which means we are now Nidda. Um, I have to think of ways I can make his birthday um, just still be really fun without being able to touch him. Cheers. Cheers. What we do is we separate our beds to make sure that we're not tempted to be more intimate than we should be during this time. For me, almost emotionally, the Nidda period starts when I undo the zip. I used to quite enjoy doing this job. I used to find it quite fun. Um, but now it just becomes a symbol for failure to conceive that child that we were yearning. Um, I can't even give Shoshi a hug now. Um, it's really hard. I really do believe that like Hashem has a plan and like Hashem didn't give me a baby yet because it wasn't in his mission for me to be looking yeah. after a baby yet. I know. Talk about starting a family, but we started a family and four and a half years ago. Like we are a family. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't agree. <laughs> what I'm hearing from you is that like not having children it doesn't meet your need for meaning. Yes, I, yeah. I do. I do feel like I do feel like my life lacks meaning. Yeah. And it's not that there isn't other meaning out there, but this is the meaning that I want. Yeah, and that's it. As a woman, I instinctively take exception to the idea that because I don't have kids, I'm a worthless woman whose life has no meaning. Like, right. Yeah. There are definitely yeah. different connotations for you. I think today's walk definitely really helped, especially just to kind of not clear the air, but to try and like understand each other's point of view a bit more. I couldn't get through this without you. Yeah, yeah. And please God, we'll never have to. We'll go through everything together. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, Nana. Hello, darling. I remember when my grandfather passed away, I, I said in my eulogy that if our marriage could be only half as good as theirs, I would be one of the happiest men in the world. So as you know, Shoshi and I are, are struggling with, with yeah. fertility issues at the moment. And I know that you and Papa had similar difficulties. That's right. Of course, we wanted a family, but it took us a long time. I understand fully. I know you do. Yes. So as, as you and Papa struggled, how did that impact on your relationship? It didn't affect it at all. It just, just, we just carried on. One big thing, of course, is if you do ever have an argument or some disagreement, before you go to bed, always kiss the makeup. The secret of it all, I think, is give and take and give in to one another. I feel very comforted to have such amazing role models as grandparents. Thank you so much. Having seen Sol's Nana today and her emphasis on give and take and always making up, not having drama, I think there is a strong message in there about unconditional love. Goodbye, darling. Bye, and that, yeah, sometimes like you do have to be locked down into a relationship to be like, right, whatever happens, I'm not going to give up on this person. And I think to an extent, we all do need that to love and be loved unconditionally. Mikva is a special monthly ritual that involves um, just being immersed in a body of water to be cleansed and refreshed for a new month. Just very excited to be able to touch again, um, getting a little bit of just butterflies, almost like a, um, I know, almost like a teenager <laughs> on your first date, I guess. Let's get the wine. I thought we might revive an old tradition where Shoshi would come back from mikvah and we'd go and watch a segment of our wedding video and enjoy something yummy to eat and drink. I really can't wait to see Shoshi. I can't wait for that hug. I've been thinking about it all day. Hey, I'm back. Hey. This is so nice. When we have that first touch, 
it feels like a warm cup of tea on a cold day. To life. Just hugging my best friend and the person I love more than anything on the planet. Shall we watch it? Your eyes are glinting. <laughs> yeah, I was so happy. Thinking about the future is just always a bit of a roller coaster. But I just really have like a strong level of faith and hope in our future. I suppose there's a small amount of trepidation going through this cycle every month, but at the same time, it just continues to make the real, the foundations of our relationship stronger and stronger and stronger. It's been a journey I would do over with you by my side. Yeah.